Sazatou is brought to you by Maine Spirits. Learn more about the delicious spirits they import into the great state of Maine and the cocktails you can make with them at mainespirits.com or by downloading their app for your smartphone or visiting them on Instagram at Maine underscore spirits. Promotional consideration by State Theatre Portland. Visit statetheaterportland.com for an up-to-date schedule of virtual events and upcoming announcements as we get closer to normalcy. And Sun Tiki Studios, a top-notch rehearsal and performance facility located on Forest Avenue in Portland, Maine. Learn more at suntikistudios.com. Hello and welcome to Happy Hour brought to you by Maine Spirits. Maine Spirits brings all of the delicious liquors into the great state of Maine. And here on Happy Hour, I am charged with showing you how to make things with that stuff that they bring in, if that makes sense. We're on a Cointreau kick right now. Last week, I showed you how to make an orange celery margarita. Delicious. This week, it's going to be a little more down the middle, and we're going to learn how to make an old favorite that kind of went by the wayside because people were talking about it too much for a while. But now I think it's safe to step back to it. We're going to learn how to make a Cosmopolitan. Now, you might be saying, why would you make a Cosmopolitan with Cointreau when Triple Sec will do? Triple Sec is much more affordable. To which I would say, why would you cook a porterhouse steak if you had steakums in the freezer? It's just better. Cointreau is something that you would drink on your own. No shade to Triple Sec. It has its place, but you wouldn't necessarily drink Triple Sec. Cointreau is a much more thoroughly and thoughtfully made liqueur with a more impressive orange flavor. So when you have a drink with so few ingredients, using higher quality ingredients will cause the entire drink to shine more. And this will be the case in this classic, perfectly tart, perfectly sweet take on a martini. The Cosmopolitan. Let's get our tools together. We're going to need a shaker, a strainer, a jigger, a paring knife, and a martini glass. For ingredients, Cointreau, vodka, fresh lime juice, cranberry juice, and a lime wheel for garnish. In a shaker full of ice, we're building it now, one and a half ounces of vodka, one ounce of Cointreau, and a half ounce of fresh lime juice, and one dash of cranberry juice. Now shake until cold and strain into your martini glass and garnish it with the lime wheel. It'll be pretty, it'll be pink, it'll be perfectly tart and perfectly sweet. It's an awesome drink and I don't care who says what about it. This has been Happy Hour brought to you by Maine Spirits. You can learn more about this drink and many other drinks at mainspirits.com. You can download their app for your smartphone or follow them on Instagram at Maine underscore spirits. And as always, we encourage you to drink deliciously and responsibly. Hello, and welcome to the program show. Zach, hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Spencer? I'm good. That's uh, excellent to hear. Today, I am so excited because I've been, I've been really pumped about recording this show since we discussed doing it in the first place. And we also have, as a guest, one of our favorites and favorite regulars, uh, Brianna Holt. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Hi. Hi. Hi, friends. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good today. I got to see you earlier briefly and your your lovely dog Gravy. Yeah, that was a highlight of our afternoon for sure. Yep. Um, dropping off some supplies, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I am Both. currently supplying myself with some of those supplies. If you're if you're a friend of mine, it would not be unusual for me to swing by your house. Uh, with a pair of headphones and a bottle of tequila, <laughs> both both for the same the same purpose. <laughs> yeah, really, it's benefiting you greatly to have done both those things. In a way, but I also like like at the I I'd sent out a you know for, in full disclosure for the listener, I'd sent out like a text like, hey, I'm probably gonna have a cocktail because I just am I'm in, going to enjoy this as a social event as well as. Uh, uh, a job yeah. and I think Brianna you said like you basically outlined a, a destitute <laughs> liquor cabinet and I felt really bad for you like oh, I want her to like hang out with us and have the same kind of fun I so, want to yeah. drink too and I want I want you to be able to if you want to so um <laughs> we have a lot of good stuff to get to I am looking forward to in this program uh, my goals are to make my friends and you 
uh, the listener oh, you're laugh succeeding already. <laughs> as much as possible. And I'm I also lover. good. And I also want to be made to laugh by these two uh, geniuses that are also on the show uh, with me. So, an explanation of what this show is and how it's going to go. Are are we ready, team? Ready. Okay. This show we've entitled <laughs> "What is the Meaning of This." What had happened was, and you'll never hear me say this again, I saw something on Facebook that really inspired me. What? Yes. And Who it was a meme. You? So the, the meme that I saw, and I'll, it's easy to describe, and I will do so uh, now. It was a, a, a headline that said, describe a movie poorly. And then it had a screenshot or a still from The Empire Strikes Back. And in that photo, one would assume uh, correctly that it was uh, uh, what's his nuts and uh, the little guy. <laughs> Yoda, Luke Yoda, Yoda. Yoda, Yoda, and Luke. That's right. <laughs> and I'm actually trying to find. Is it Yoda fun. on Luke's back? No, no. It's just the two of them uh, having a, a friendly chat about. Hmm. And uh, I think when uh, Mark Hamill read the working script, though, it just said, "What's his nuts?" Yeah, what's his nuts? <laughs> Uh, but the description. I want to play that guy. <laughs> I actually, I've read it so many times. I can just say it from memory. Uh, 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 Green Goblin on ketamine <laughs> teaches child magic so he can kill his own father. <laughs> and I love, like, I am a sucker for this. And everyone joins in and comments. And you keep it going. Like that is like that to me is why Facebook exists, and all all the rest of it is garbage. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, I also like when uh, people come up with like the band name mashups, you know, Mm -hmm. Beastie Boys to Men (laughs) without hats, Uh, Elton, John Paul, Jonestown Massacre. Like I could do that for days, for days. I I really love puns. So you're always going to get me with that. Oh, yeah. And so that's what this show is going to be. We are going to uh, describe movies badly and... I worked. I worked hard on mine, and I'm. I'm aiming. I hope that. I hope that you guys smoke me out of the water. I really do. <laughs> I really do because it's just going to make me laugh, which is just as rewarding as if I were to make you laugh, or maybe almost. So, uh, how this is going to work? I will read the description according to IMDb of a, a film. We will then, amongst us, identify what movie we're talking about. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that, considering we have a limited but long list. Um, And then at that point, after we've identified the movie, we will move on to share our um, descriptions of the movie, Um, at which point we will decide amongst the three of us as gentle persons who (laughs) won that round. And whoever has the most points at the end uh, we'll have the distinct pleasure of buying the other two a round of drinks when it's <gasps> safe to be in public. Again, so wait, I didn't know. That's amazing. I can't wait for that. I can't wait. For, uh, <laughs> 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 Even when you win, you lose. <laughs> uh, I'm thrilled. Great. Yet somehow the competitive nature of this has made my heart rate accelerate. <laughs> oh yeah, so. <laughs> this is good stuff. I am nervous. No, I'm I'm pumped. I've been. I feel like this is like me, like uh, we're going to a barbecue, like level of excitement for me. You know, because like you know, I, mean, I get that feeling every time we record this podcast. I know, I know. <laughs> it's, all I have these days. <laughs> it's all I've I mean, got. I, I make pasta salad every time we have this podcast. I'm eating it now. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is gorgeous with, with all of condiments. Pasta salad. <laughs> Um, I actually was eating freshly made popcorn when Spencer walked into my house. It smells so good. I actually made pasta salad, but I didn't have any pasta, so it's just mayo with salt and pepper. (laughs) That also sounds very good. (laughs) That's called dip. I would eat eat that. I would dip a spoon in that. (laughs) Yep. All right. Are we ready to uh, commence? So ready. I can't. I'm Let ready. the games so I'm, begin. So I'm going to jump around here a little bit. Uh, so, you know, we're not going in order. Try to get keep some mystery over here in our ranks. Uh, so once we identify the movie, I'll give everyone a minute to 
kind of uh, find their notes and where okay. we are in the notes. This is the IMDb description <laughs> of a film. Who can name this film? A 17-year-old aristocrat falls in love with a kind but poor artist aboard the luxurious, ill-fated RMS Titanic. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Is that the Hindenburg? <laughs> no, no, it is not. That's a movie called Titanic. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, Brianna, uh, whereas you named yours, uh, why don't you go first? Uh, you named the movie, so you read yours first is what I meant. All right. Titanic. Socioeconomics and women's rights put an end to a young man's life. <laughs> 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 well done oh wow oh. Uh, bones what do you have there <laughs> i have rich people participate in a polar bear plunge but fail to raise any money for charity <laughs> wait, wait, read it again read it again sorry rich, it's okay rich people participate in a polar bear plunge but fail to raise any money for charity <laughs> oh, very good. that's really good <clears throat> I had uh, I already declare myself the loser after their boat sinks an abusive one percenter refuses to make room for drowning freezing poor man on spacious flotation device <laughs> that's still pretty good <laughs> I'd like to just congratulate us all for really getting at the core of it yep. really yep. getting at the at the mm -hmm. just the nugget of truth in this Th movie that's what this movie is about <laughs> yeah. yep um well, I'm tempted to give it to Brianna on that one. Uh, as am I. Whoa, Great. coming out strong. I don't know. I mean, I okay, I'll take it. I, I, I really, Zach, I really liked yours. Oh, you, men you. you mentioned women's rights, and it immediately put us on our heels, so we have to vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, coming out strong. Coming out strong. All right. Um, <laughs> you ready for the next test? <laughs> <laughs> so ready. I'm ready. My cheeks already hurt. Oh. A group of Southern California <laughs> high school students are enjoying their most important subjects, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Can, who can name that film? That's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That means, Jones, you get to go first. <laughs> um, I simply have a high school teacher. Switches from coffee to Senka. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> that guy. Um, that's a good one, Jones. I actually just took off my uh, outer layer because I started sweating from the <laughs> I actually have already done the same thing. <laughs> um, fast times at Ridgemont High. Gorgeous woman disrobes. Judge Reinhold comes in toilet. <laughs> <laughs> not to like not to not to talk about my own my own thing but like i what i enjoy about it most is that like as it goes on it becomes increasingly more specific <laughs> <laughs> you don't even use the character name no <laughs> just the actor the judge reinhold <laughs> yeah starts off anybody takes off clothes <laughs> but Judge Reinhold comes in toilet. <laughs> this is a good family show. Oh wow! I'm ready for Judge Reinhold to to pepper this whole podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Like, I uh, how do somebody? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I'll give it to you because I laughed very hard at that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give it to you as well. Good. I'm glad because this, I is, feel this like is one of my it, strong ones. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if we could just give you an honorable mention, Zach, the simplicity and, and focus of yours was really pleasing to me. And oh, also the, the Sanka drop, which is, <laughs> oddly enough, I don't think the first time we've mentioned that product on this show. <laughs> Probably not. No. And actually, and every time I think of that product, I think of this movie. So it's actually just right where my mind went. Oh, that's awesome. I think of my Aunt Betty Ann when I think of Sanka. <laughs> Not what I think of. Okay, so <laughs> uh, the the next description: a cyborg identical to one. Sorry, a cyborg identical to the one who failed to kill Sarah Connor must now protect her ten-year-old son John Connor from a more advanced and powerful cyborg. What, what oh, that's T two. That's T two. 
Yeah, sure. Jones, is. do you want to lead us off? Sure. I have a young boy bonds with an unlikely father figure during a road trip from L.A. to Mexico and back. <laughs> That's really good. The sh- Shining. <laughs> That's what you did there. You repurposed it into a uh, family bonding film. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Breezes Crest, what do you have? Well, I think you should go first because I'm, tr- I'm struggling to find mine. So you go. You go. Here we go. Uh, mentally ill mother teams up with time traveling robot <laughs> to save son from being harmed by a broken thermometer. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just found mine. Can I read it to you? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Please do. A broken but sentient thermometer terrorizes a child. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I knew we were friends for a reason. Wow. That's right. <laughs> broken but sentient. <laughs> I think well, we should give it to Jones because he because he came up with the original one. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. I'm down for that. Repur- uh. re- repurposing uh, repurposing T2 into a fun road trip movie. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. Um, and, Somebody and though recut he, that trailer stack. Yeah, yeah. Though you and I are friends, and and I I love that we came up with the thermometer thing together. It must mean that that's a little more common. Yep. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay, um, that was a good round. I enjoyed that. Um, are are we ready for another one? Oh. So ready. So ready. Five high school students meet in Saturday detention and discover how they have a lot more in common than they thought. <laughs> That's the Breakfast Club. That's right. <laughs> Breezy, kick us off here. All right, you should know that I'm a weirdo. And I was, smoking on, I was smoking a lot of weed when I did this. I smoked weed when I made this, too. All right. <clears throat> the Breakfast Club. <laughs> a computer simulation tries to converge disparate programs at an attempt at a new and heretofore unheard of outcome, and it fails, seeing each program reach their previously repeated endgames over and over until the end of time. Wow. Yeah, so you failed to mention that you smoked a lot of weed. Because <laughs> yeah. that's just fucked up. <laughs> I, I had uh, I had Judd Nelson escapes insufferable involuntary detention with obnoxious rich whites in favor of relative comfort of abusive home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it's uh, so real. That's very real. I simply have, I was told there would be breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where are oh, we at? Wow. Well, uh, um, I mean, I'm, I, I'd like to give it to, to Spencer. I'd like to give it to you, Spencer. Yeah, that's very good. I'll take yeah. it. Yep. Makes me <laughs> feel. And thank you kindly. <laughs> Coming from you too. Thank you. I thought about that movie over and over again, and I just, I just thought about how I wonder if anyone... When that movie, when did that movie came out? Come out 80, 87, 9, 88, 87. I just wonder if anybody like truly resonated with it. I, I watch it. I mean, I guess I haven't seen it in years, but I watch it and I just thought, um, you know, like this is kind of a load of, of, of horse shit in a way, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's the John Hughes conundrum, right? Like, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a movie I enjoy, but yeah, yeah, I I don't relate to a single character in it. Yeah, no, I really I relate to aspects of many of the characters. Mm-hmm. Agreed, agreed. Yeah, but probably mostly. Uh, uh, what's her What's her nuts there? Uh, Ali Ringwald? Sheedy. Yeah, Ali Sheedy. Ali Sheedy. <laughs> Ali Sheedy. Yeah, just like literally a crazy person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Relatable. All right. So uh, here's a movie. You might want to check out a young African-American visits his white girlfriend's parents for the weekend where his simmering uneasiness about their reception of him eventually reaches a boiling point. (laughs) (laughs) Why are we laughing at the real description? (laughs) Because you know, like what's underneath it. I'm pre-laughing at everybody's everybody's uh you know descriptions uh we're, well, we're of course talking about get out of course um and i'll kick off by saying um my description of this movie is man meets girlfriend's parents breezy what do 
you what do you, what have you got there? Uh, <clears throat> get out. A family holiday goes nearly exactly how a photographer feared it might. <laughs> what? <laughs> That made me choke on my drink. What? Are you okay? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to need you to walk me through that one. Cause get it, cause, out. Because I want to get it. Okay. I guess when I thought about describing this movie badly, I thought, what if this was like a deep-seated fear of his the entire time before he met this person's family? Like this exact scenario. <laughs> that, would be, that would be something to uh, that would be awful to be right about that. Be awful. <laughs> oh man. Well, thank you for that. Uh, that's great. Um, Jonesy, what do you got? I've got. Guess who's coming to dinner? But fucking scary. Not bad. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> Guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> um, geez, I don't know. Um, I'm. Well, I didn't get Brianna's, but I don't think that's the fault of the joke. I think it's my own fault. <laughs> like sometimes you have to read the far. You have to read the. You have to read the far side a few times, right? So. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do What do y'all think? I mean, I vote for Jones because I always think recalling another movie in a way that is funny and makes sense is really just a winning tactic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. I mean, I, I think that's uh, that you know that shows a depth of understanding of the of the. Uh, what we're All right. For. Anyway, <laughs> um, I was afraid it was actually too movie? accurate. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wrap it up. Jeez. <laughs> Check this out. An NYPD officer tries to save his wife and several others taken hostage by German terrorists during a Christmas party at the Nakatomi Plaza in Los Angeles. <laughs> what movie am I talking about? <laughs> Can you guess? Uh, hmm. That's Die Hard. It's Die Hard. <laughs> um, it's Die Hard. Well, whereas Jones uh, apparently has never seen movies before and couldn't guess that. Um, Brianna, do you want do you want to start? Yeah, I was actually feeling self conscious for saying so. the other ones too fast. I'm just, I'm just feeling nervous, continually more nervous. All right, <clears throat> Die Hard, in which the sheriff of Nottingham ruins corporate company Christmas party. <laughs> Speaking of, of referencing <laughs> other movies, oh, <laughs> in <God>. which oh. <laughs> uh, I have a. Uh, through happenstance, an average Joe beat cop single-handedly defeats a highly skilled, funded, and organized group of international mastermind thieves. <laughs> I simply have Merry Christmas from your friends at Nakatomi Plaza. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Not, not bad. Uh, I, uh, I like Breezy's in that one. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good Do you mind one. that I call you that, by the way? No, gosh, no. Good. No way. <laughs> Love it. Sure. Uh, and how do you also feel about my alternate uh, nickname, Breezes Crest? Oh, that's I. It's that one. I feel like you've been using for years. I know. And I'm just checking in. I think. Um, I think it not only uh, honors my love of puns, but mm -hmm. also my true passion and calling in life. Mm -hmm. Baking. Uh -huh. Baking. Or or I meant. I'm sorry. Light breezes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, did we get through Die Hard yet? We did. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did. And we gave it. We gave it to Breezy. Okay. Um, <laughs> a mermaid princess takes a Faustian bargain in an attempt to become human and win a prince's love. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's little, it's little Mermaid. Little. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry, I'll just jump in. So once in a while, I'll jump in. So I'll go for it. I don't want to make you guys go first. You know, all of them. Uh, it's Little Mermaid. Um, and my description is Fish Lady Robbed of Better Than Average Singing Voice. <laughs> oh, man. I'm starting to realize that I've really just. I've really gone down a dark road with all of these. <laughs> Where were you when you were writing? <laughs> oh, 
my God. <laughs> Smoke your dark weed. Yeah, I sure did. I sure did. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Well, well, you after that. Me? Description. <laughs> <laughs> the Little Mermaid. A young coastal girl's obsessive compulsive collecting habits lead her to an intense <laughs> missed connection with a wealthy landowner, and she delves deep into identity theft to win his heart. Wow. wow. <laughs> uh, uh, wow. Mine, mine feels very I'm underachieving sorry. compared to the two that you guys have done. What do you have? I simply have... Sexism, the movie, now with catchy songs. I'm sorry I was laughing too hard. Can you say it again? Sexism, the movie, now with catchy songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent. Really excellent. Well, I believe... Um, I kind of like Fish Lady loses her <laughs> better yeah, average voice. Fish Lady <laughs> Thanks, you too. Um, <laughs> Brianna, uh, Brianna, you went off the rails on that one. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no sorry. No, keep it up. <laughs> keep up the good work. Keep it up. <laughs> keep it up. No oh, sorry. Just, I'm getting more nervous by the minute here. No way. No way. All right, I got okay. one for you. All right. A poor but hopeful boy seeks one of the five coveted golden tickets that will send him on a tour of Willy Wonka's mysterious chocolate factory. What movie am I talking about? <laughs> Could it be Willy Wonka and the Chocolate it, Factory? It is. It is. It is. Wow. And, uh, and ding, ding, you, uh, you win the, uh, the lead we're, off. We're, we're getting to all the ones that I only have one sentence descriptions for. Yeah, uh, they're so, they hit so hard, Joe. Same here. I have Wonka Chocolate Factory Tour. One star will not be back. <laughs> Fucking Yelp review. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, uh, no. That's shit. so good. <laughs> I don't want to follow that. <laughs> I almost don't want to follow that either. Ooh. What do you have? Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. <clears throat> Psychotic, wealthy recluse uses the dreams and hopes of poor families in his town to fund an extravagant scavenger hunt and attempts to choose an heir. <laughs> I mean, that's just so blatantly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a poor description. This is right on the money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If it, that that is what Tim Burton's version should have been. <laughs> I've got the uh, the story of Jeff. I'm sorry. The story of Jeff Bezos meeting human children for the first time. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who's Jeff? Be is Wonka Jeff Bezos? Yeah, he's the Amazon guy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got I got to give it to Jonesy. That was a, that was a doozy. Oh, yeah. Literally, m simply must. <laughs> the wow, review. Wow, wow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I would just like to take a minute and will not be back. <laughs> <laughs> <I would> <laughs> <laughs> no. I would just like to take a minute. And tip my hat to how before every one of your descriptions, Zach, you say, I simply have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's just everyone so far. <sighs> no. Okay. A family heads to an isolated hotel for the winter where a sinister presence influences the father into violence while his psychic son sees horrific forebodings from both past and future. <laughs> Shining. 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 Uh, my, my, go ahead, Jones. No, don't go. go. Please go. Uh, during Winter Getaway, <laughs> during Winter Getaway, Patriarch deepens bond with young family. <laughs> <laughs> Shining. Shining. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you got, Bonesy? Uh, well, it's funny that these two came up back to back because I have... <laughs> I simply have. I, have. I simply have the Overlook Hotel. One star. Will not be back. <laughs> I'm 
Oh shit! <laughs> it's like the other thing is like both of those movies could be like A Gloop and J Torrance. <laughs> J Torrance, nineteen eighty. <1980. laughs> <Zero teaser. laughs> oh. What do you well, what do you got, Brianna? Oh, just I don't don't even listen to me. I have hotel caretaker vastly underestimates his new workload. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. I think that you and I can take take a seat and uh, yeah. let Jonesy oh, run with that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, the fucking yoga like review. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> a Phoenix security uh, I'm sorry. I've got to restart. A Phoenix secretary embezzles $40,000 from her employer's client, goes on the run, and checks into a remote motel run by a young man under domination of his mother. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, that's psycho. <laughs> yes, it is. I, I wonder what you have here. <laughs> Beach Motel, one star. <laughs> that is exactly what I had. <laughs> No No. way! Is it true? (laughs) It is. It's really what it is. (laughs) Wow. You really, I like how you leaned in. I really do. Fuck. I don't Uh. believe that's going to show up again, though. I I think you you nailed all three. I can't believe that, though. That's like if we were in Vegas, you would have just won the jackpot. I guess so, yeah. (laughs) Oh, shit. Um, Brie, what do you you have on that one? Psycho, an underpaid secretary, asks for and receives a raise, goes on vacation and learns firsthand the dangers of disassociative identity disorder. Hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) It's another one that's just right on the money. (laughs) The perfect description. Oh, man. Did I, I do it wrong? I might have done it wrong. No, you do fine. You do fine. You're doing just fine. Um, I had uh, boy care boy caring for frail mother protects his own virginity. <laughs> <laughs> and even though I'm very proud of that one, I still want to give it to Jones just I, for, like for the audacity. Well. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> the audacity to offer three Yelp reviews. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Holy God. shit. Okay, that was fun. All right. A, a research team in, Ar- in Arctica is hunted by a shape shifting alien, a shape shifting alien that assumes uh, the appearance of its victims. <sighs> what That's could it be? Thing. That's right. The thing. Um, the thing. I think the only people in on this call who haven't watched this movie together are Zach and Brianna. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yes. Yeah. When we can remedy Which that. Which I look forward to doing soon. post-pandemic. Yeah. We need to remedy that. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so, Brianna, what is your description of the thing? Oh, I did not do well with this one, but let's... I had a hard time with it, it, too. It's some of these are... You know, I'm just going to say some of this is difficult, and I feel I am in awe of anyone who can do this well. So... <laughs> you are doing it well. The thing unvaccinated dog infects an entire bachelor party on a winter camping trip. Oh, man. I, took the, I chose the wrong time to take a sip. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Wow. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, what do you got to say, Joe? I have... A male bonding retreat takes a wild and crazy turn. <laughs> yep, yep. I went down a similar route. Uh, uh, a group of isolated tradesmen develop trust issues. <laughs> isolated tradesmen. That's excellent. I rewrote that one a zillion times. Uh, but one of them was like, Agatha Christie, Agatha Christie's t- story takes place in meat grinding plant, you know? <laughs> That's good, too. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I want to give that to Breezy. That was really good. What do you say, Jade? Oh, wow. Thanks. I, it just, I didn't know. 
I didn't know until you were laughing how that it was funny. So I appreciate that. Yeah, you gotta relax. <laughs> you are naturally very funny, even when even when you're being like cosmically obtuse. <laughs> I don't oh. know any other way to be. A young musician tormented by an abusive situation at home must contend with a rival singer, a burgeoning romance, and his own dissatisfied brand as his star begins to rise. Purple rain, yep. purple rain. We can't afford it, so please stop singing <laughs> it. <laughs> Violet <clears throat> downpour, dilet <laughs> downpour. Violet. <laughs> Off brand hits. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, what do you got, Jones? I have a young woman. Sorry. A young woman seeks purification in the mystical waters of Minnesota's Lake Minnetonka. Very good. Very good. Oh Dick on motorcycle abandons woman clothless in Lake. Oh, <laughs> That's no. my first one was around oh, there, too. No. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, what do you got? Crazy. I just, oh God, I don't want to say it. I do though. Okay, I made fun. I made fun of how tall he was. So, like, how bad could it be? Purple rain. <laughs> <laughs> so like a fucking headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> trauma, trauma everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I use a buzzword? No, no, it's fine. Uh, that's really dark, but just made me laugh really hard. Yeah, I like I like that one a lot personally. Jones, yours was great too. Oh, thanks. Wow. Uh, give that one to Breezy? Oh yeah. Okay, that's you guys are too good. <laughs> no, that was a really <laughs> good one. <clears throat> At Adams College, a group of bullied outcasts and midfit, misfits resolve to fight back for their peace and self-respect. <laughs> that sounds like some nerds getting revenge. That's right. Revenge oh, of the nerds. Yeah. What, do you, what do you got, Jonesy? <laughs> I have... A group of popular college students and athletes are attacked by a technologically superior enemy. <laughs> That's not that that is actually very close to like my first draft of that. <laughs> of that <show. laughs> but you did multiple drafts and didn't stick with. <laughs> I did. I, I did. I I moved on. <laughs> well, where did I, you I, land? Uh, a coming of age story about a boy named Booger. <laughs> oh my. God. Oh, is that really that far from the the truth? No, it's not. Uh, uh, what do you have, Brianna? I'm so sorry. I I took a I took a, a pass on this one. Well, then you would decide who the winner is. Um, man, oh man, I I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with Zach on this Ooh. one. I I'll just take it. it's just I um that's um of the two of them that's a movie I would watch. So. <laughs> you don't want to watch a coming of age story about a boy named Booger? I'm so sorry. I don't. No. No. How about now? A coming of age story about a boy named Booger. Oh my God. How did you do that? Indeed, I do want to watch that. Oh, Wait, I'm over. giving myself the point then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Wow. Let's uh, move on. Um, well played, everybody. Well played. <laughs> In turn-of-the-century London, which century, a magical nanny employs music and adventure to help two neglected children become closer to their father. <laughs> I, I wish I had read that first because my description is actually just basically that same thing. Well, what is it? Well, it's Mary Poppins. That's right. And I have an asshole dad learns to appreciate his kids. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd watch that movie. <laughs> What'd you have, Brianna? <laughs> um, I have <sighs> Mary Poppins. <clears throat> An unconventional caregiver brings the joys, freedoms, and experiences of microdosing to an uptight <laughs> and under emotional family, freeing them to be more themselves. Wow. 
Uh, we're not so different, you and I. I had uh, I had psychotic housekeeper drives children to psychosis through forced hallucinations. <laughs> Why we're friends, it sounds we're just, like a, we're... it's more than a spoonful of sugar going down. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, wow, I like both of those a lot. <laughs> oh, wow, I just feel the need to give that one to Spencer. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah, thanks. Guys. I think it's mostly read the first part of it. I like the first part of yours away a lot. Psychotic housekeeper drives <laughs> children to psychosis through forced hallucinations. <laughs> I guess I should read it. I should probably try to sell them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you could just sell them all, that would be great. Okay. I don't know how you're doing it. I think you must have um, you must have one of those uh, special trailer mics. One of those careers in entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> one of those. Well, he's also got a professional <laughs> yes, voiceover man sitting right next to him. For uh, that's right. I've moments. got the, I've got the in a world guy just like <laughs> perched to my left. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that guy's name is Hal. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Two imprisoned men bond over a number of years, finding solace and eventual redemption through acts of common decency. <laughs> uh, uh, do you want to? Who wants to say this? I it's, feel like I've said all can, of them. I feel like I'm. I think I know which one you just described. But can you read it again? Two imprisoned men bond oh, okay. over a number of years, finding solace and eventual redemption through acts of common decency. That is Shawshank Redemption. Ding a ding ding ding, and you go first. <laughs> Shawshank, oh man, I want to do your trailer voice, but I don't think I can. Do your trailer voice. <clears throat> Shawshank Redemption. A hotshot banker changes careers and becomes a librarian as it gives him a lot of alone time in quiet places. Not bad. <laughs> All right, not bad. It's a big part of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I had <clears throat> imprisoned convict embezzles state funds and escapes and rewards a murderer with permanent vacation. <laughs> nice. um, I just had a main adventure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <clears throat> uh, so if you're not from here, um, uh, Rennie's is a local... <laughs> Uh, shop whose tagline is Rennie's a main adventure. So, uh, well, Zach wins that one, I think. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know what? You uh, really Absolutely. left meat on the bone there, pal. Oh, uh, yeah. Why? Because I should have gone Shawshank Redemption, a main adventure. No, you should have said Shawshank, one star will not be back. <laughs> back. <laughs> or Shawshank, scared straight. Shawshank. Oh, no. Shawshank 2. Shawshanked. Oh, well. uh, man. Exiled into the dangerous forest by her wicked stepmother, a princess is re- rescued by seven dwarf miners who make her part of their household. <laughs> Why do you just think even that's funny? I know. <laughs> oh. Zach, what movie is that? Uh, that's Snow White. <laughs> what do you got for a descriptor I got some freak makes out with a random corpse in the woods that's it. <laughs> oh just kisses it rando corpse in woods oh my god it's so I had, pretty I'm just gonna kiss it I had a musical tale of human trafficking oh my god <laughs> what yes oh, okay <laughs> Uh, Snow White, a wannabe singer, grows weary of her hard work as a housekeeper in an all-male commune, accepts opiates from an older woman in order to sleep through the rest of her tiresome duties. Wow. Very dark and specific. <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Not fun or funny, though. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like Zach's necrophilia joke better. Oh, oh I see. I see. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That, that's 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 all I'm saying is I just wanted to point out that Zach's joke about making out with corpses was more lighthearted than what you said. <laughs> Listen, I didn't mean for it to be this way. <clears throat> it's all you are who you are. Uh, well, on that note, two losers try to pretend that their murdered employer is really alive, leading the hitman to attempt to track him down to finish him off. <laughs> 
Uh, my de- my, de- my yes, and my description of that was amateur necrophiles mm-hmm. dabble in performative larceny. <laughs> 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 oh, um, well, continuing on a theme of you and I being somehow related, I mm-hmm. have Weekend at Bernie's. Platonic necrophilia and insurance fraud <laughs> take center stage in an 80s mob thriller. Yep. yep. So, uh, <laughs> um, I have a dangerous hitman pursues his target in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this one goes to uh, me or Bray. <laughs> I say you. That one goes to you. Will you read yours one more time? I like how you worded it. Amateur necrophiles dabble in performative <laughs> larceny. <laughs> Amateur necrophiles. <laughs> like you've still got a lot of work to do to better at it. Larceny. <laughs> <laughs> dabble. In performative the larceny. Only, the, only, the only non-25 <laughs> cent word I put in there was in. <laughs> Sunday is on ABC. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I think you get that, Spence. Thanks, dude. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Marty McFly, a 17 year old high school student, is accidentally sent 30 years into the past in a time traveling DeLorean invented by his close friend, the eccentric scientist Doc Brown. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, back to the future. Yep, and go. Uh, a frustrated musician gets a cool car. <laughs> Not bad. Breezy, what did you have there? Oh, it just, it's, oh, it's not good. But oh, I'll come on. It. We'll oh, be the judge of that. that. <laughs> you know what? Jonesy's was bad. There. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it was good, but it was bad. You know, it's all right. Just... Here we go. Back to the future. Mediocre small town musician worries about becoming like his parents. After a terrorist attack, he goes back in time to gaslight his mom and co-opt rock and roll from black people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, that's the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I had elderly scientist sends intern back in time to seduce his own mother. (laughs) It's so good. It's so good. You win. I mean, I vote for you. I vote for you. I too vote for you. (laughs) Well, thank you both. Though I I, Um, I like, I very much appreciated the accuracy of yours, Brianna. Oh, yeah, good. I enjoyed Thank both you. of yours very much. <laughs> I think all three of those are actually quite good. Yeah, it means now a lot. That I, now that I'm, I'm hearing them all. After wishing to be made big, a teenage boy wakes the next morning to find himself mysteriously in the body of an adult. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, that, Bri, are that's... you kind of like horrified by this? I feel like this is like a newfound thing that I have that you're just discovering in this taping. It's, it's just like truly accurate. In the, in, <laughs> I feel like I'm in the theater. Well, that that that's good. I just don't want you to like not be able to make eye contact with me the next time we actually hang out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was talking about the movie Big. The movie Big. And... Uh, anyone want to jump in? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, go for it. Uh, I don't want to go first. Uh, I go. I'll go. Boy granted wish to become an adult experiences wealth, independence, and sex, <laughs> only to be returned to the prison of oversight by a domineering matriarch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have a grown woman, a 12-year-old boy, a forbidden love. (laughs) Oh, God! Oh, um, I, 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 I feel like you probably... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this, is, this is like... <laughs> What is, what is this from the news? <laughs> yeah. uh, what did you have? <laughs> what did you have, Brie? Big. A vulnerable child is. 
A vulnerable child is mentally and physically altered by a carnival electrical malfunction. Moves into an... (laughs) I just like hearing how high you were when you made these in your read back. Like, I'm getting high just listening to you. I'm getting a contact high. (laughs) A contact high just by listening to this description. Okay. Moves into an 80s fantasy funhouse and at the very least does some hand stuff with an older woman. (laughs) Hand stuff! (laughs) At the very least, leaving it open to, like, other stuff. tell you man i thought there was no way you were gonna get in seated but i think that Brianna, like... <laughs> see spence i love the way that yours <laughs> highlights the fact that he has to return to being a child after that <laughs> that's right yeah like, but after hand stuff with an adult he's gonna go back to like farley's fruit snacks and getting driven to things <laughs> <laughs> but, but, getting driven to things is so <laughs> fuck that shit oh, but Bri I think you're I think you nailed it <laughs> had a beautiful grown ass woman giving me hand stuff <laughs> at the very oh. least hand stuff <laughs> But yeah, sure. Can you pick me up after the movie? Oh, God. I want to see the sequel to that. Like, what's, what's that kid yeah, doing I, after I should have, I should have followed this one up with the virgin suicides. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh. The Dark Knight of Gotham City begins his war on crime with his first major enemy being Jack Napier, a criminal who becomes the clownishly homicidal Joker. <laughs> what could that be? Yeah. It's Batman 1989. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to go first? I'll jump in. Okay. <laughs> Two comedic actors have a cosplay slap fight on a train set. <laughs> Good, Spencer. Again, you and I are in a. What do you got? What do you got? Really connected. All I have is (laughs) Batman. Larpers ruin the city. (laughs) God, we really are like neck and neck on this shit. (laughs) What'd you have, Jonesy? I have. Sorry, I could catch my breath before I try to read this. Um, a mentally deranged billionaire attempts to make Gotham City great again by breaking all the norms and using unconventional methods, but some clown just keeps standing in his way. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, uh, man. Oh, that's um, good. I don't know. I'll call that one a tie. Yeah, I feel like that one's really... We really... Uh, <sighs> when a killer shark unleashes chaos in a beach community, it's up to a local sheriff a marine biologist and an old seafarer to hunt the beast down. Jus. <sighs> it's a French film named Jus. <laughs> Jus. I had, instead of securing an adequately sized vessel, as requested, an obstinate alcoholic tells stories, <laughs> pays ultimate price. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> 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 Jones, what do you have? I got <laughs> the mayor of a seaside town puts public health at risk when he ignores the advice of experts and professionals and eases safety restrictions way too early, establishing the playbook politicians will follow in 2020. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Um that was really good. How about you, Breezy? Well, this is my favorite movie of all time. I just wanted to say that. Um Why do you like it so much? It sucks. <laughs> the best. So boring. It's like so predictable. <laughs> Shark uh, doesn't even look real. Oh I mean god. like I mean oh, Roy Schneider. So I mean really? 
operation. <laughs> you, could, you, you couldn't get Hackman? What a bomb. Oh, boy. Okay. Jaws. <clears throat> Blue-collar workers unionize to protest tourist season by sacrificing young virgin to the demon god of the sea, triggering a <laughs> crystal bloodlust never before seen in this sleepy town. Wow. <laughs> 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 Victory for including bloodlust. <laughs> oh god! I, I vote for Brianna on that one. Yeah. Jones, I loved yours very much. <laughs> Jones, yours is so good. <laughs> oh, great god. stuff. A young man inadvertently breaks three important rules concerning his new pet and unleashes a horde of malevolently mischievous monsters. On a small town. <laughs> oh, wow. Now our next challenge should be to write the most tongue-twisting descriptions <laughs> we can. Yeah, that was awful. <laughs> I, I didn't read cool. it out loud when I copied and pasted it, but like that's a real tongue twist. <laughs> Malevolently mischievous <laughs> monsters. No thanks. <laughs> Apparently they didn't want that read out loud ever again. Maybe nope. they just thought it looked great on paper. Malevolently mischievous monsters. Oh, it falls out. <laughs> And my description of that movie is irresponsible son of failed inventor somehow in relationship with Phoebe Cates. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Uh, Obviously, the movie is Gremlins for anybody out there that doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, it's Gremlins. (laughs) Sorry. Oh, my God. What do you have, Jones? I have... A small town bartender proves she's incredibly committed to performing the duties of her job. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Breezy? Well, here we go. Gremlins. A Chinatown gift shop owner plots to expose the crisis of mistreatment and neglect of pets in his city using a well trained surface animal. Hmm. <laughs> I just, I just uh, again focused on the beauty of Phoebe Cates. Oh my God, that's good. I, <laughs> in, I, in my, you in my, win in my book. Yeah, my uh, lifelong I, swoonism for Phoebe Cates because that's of just impressionism. So oh my oh, God, and, there, and you can you can relate with Judge Reinhold. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna run to the toilet. I'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, for some reason that scene in Gremlins where sh- where they're all at the bar and she's still just working. Yeah, <laughs> like, rah, is the first rah, thing I think rah, of. Rah, she's like, like trying to fill her guy. orders and stuff. <laughs> yeah, while they're shooting each other and hanging from the ceiling fan. Yeah. And smell that. <laughs> yep. <sighs> wow. <clears throat> thank you so much, Brianna, for joining us. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you so much. Unbelievably blessed to have joined you. Hashtag blessed. Please come back again soon. 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 Yes, please I would do. I like to come back as soon as you'll have me. Yeah, uh, we have some movie, some movie uh, shows in the works, and we'll get right back at you. Oh, you know I love movies and you guys. Aww. We love you. Yeah, we love movies and you. Thank Holy you. crap! Oh. Uh, Jones, of course, I love you. I love you too. Yeah, I hope so because I told you I loved you first. <laughs> <laughs> you left me with no choice. All right. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Thank you both so much. Thank you. Sasu is brought to you by Maine Spirits. Learn more about the spirits we bring into the state of Maine at mainspirits.com and what to do with them by downloading their app for your smartphone or visit them on Instagram at Maine underscore spirits. Promotional consideration provided by State Theater Portland. Learn more at statetheaterportland.com and Sun Studios. Learn more at suntikistudios.com.